Hmm. It looks like Basil's breathing is steady. But we need to get him somewhere warm, quickly. Yeah, he's had a rough day. Let's get him home as soon as possible. Wait! Where do you think you're all going? That's enough! Don't you think you've caused enough trouble? Come on, guys. We gotta go. I don't know about that, Chief. Are we really just gonna leave Aubrey like that? Really? We're not gonna say anything? Oh. This feels wrong. I know we need to bring Basil back as home as soon as possible, but... This just feels wrong, just leaving Aubrey alone. Alright, here's Basil's home. Basil! What happened? Is he okay? His breathing is stable. He just needs a change of clothes and a warm bed. Okay, I can do that. Uh, come, quick inside! Can you help me bring him to his room? Sure thing. Phew, that was intense. I hope Basil wakes up soon. So do I. Basil, are you there? What's up, hero? Hey, Kel. Hey, Sonny. Looks like Basil's gonna be just fine. I heard from mom that Basil was missing and that you two went looking for him. When I was running around the park, I heard some commotion coming around from my hangout spot. I guess I got there right in the nick of time. So, what was happening back there? Aubrey. She pushed Basil into the lake. What? That was Aubrey back there? No way. She wouldn't do that to Basil. I'm sure there is some kind of misunderstanding. She's not the same anymore, hero. She's become all messed up after you left for college. Aubrey. What happened while I was gone? Maybe I should have never left. It's not your fault that this happened. Things could have gotten a lot worse if you didn't show up. You've done all you can. Come on, let's go home. What? Can... Are we not going to celebrate with dinner? Can we, can we at least see Basil first? Basil? Oh, Sonny. There's no way out of this. Is there? Poor Basil's been through so much these past few days. Basil, you must be tired. Please get some rest. We'll come back for you tomorrow. I'm sorry, Basil. I've been taking care of Basil for two years already, but I barely know anything about him. I wish he would open up about himself more. I just want to help. I'm sorry, Basil. I'm sorry. God damn it. You know, Sonny, you're pretty awesome back there, jumping into the lake to save Basil like that. Even if Hero ended up saving the day, I think you deserve some recognition too. How about a high five? Yes, sir! Can't go wrong with a high five! <laughs> and you know what? Despite the fact that you may already be in 1 HP already, Kel, we got our boy Hero! He's back! The one, the only, Hero! I feel like we should still try to go back to the hangout spot, like... Come on. She has to still be here, right? Aubrey? No. Oh, but I did find a seashell. <laughs> Would you look at that? <laughs> I guess there's... There's something going for me here this entire time after all. Whose grave is that? A blue picnic basket. Nothing like Mari's. Can't even save. Come on now. Come on now. Fuck. Now Aubrey's just gonna go home with this misunderstanding with our, with our, with our notions that she pushed Basil in, but 
Oh no, dude. Oh no. I actually... I feel bad for Basil. I really feel bad for Basil. But I also have to feel bad for Aubrey. Like, I genuinely don't know what she's been going through. What if... The three of us... Showed up at her house? Nothing! Alright then, never mind then. Alright, I just remembered something. Kel said before that Hira has never seen Mario's grave. It's today the day. Sorry. I don't know if I'm ready for this yet. Oh, come on, hero. You're gonna have to face this eventually. Ah. Alright then, you little, you, old, you little bastard. Or I guess you old bastard. Because you're older than me. You win this time, but... Eventually, you will have to face her. Tee hee tee hee! Guess who's in your house now, bitch! Mmm, munch, munch. Oh hey, what's up? Huh? You're so calm! Aren't you going to challenge us to a fight or something? Mmm, no. I don't really have beef with any of you. Me and Kim just always do the same stuff together. I'm only one year older than her, but no one believes me because of my beard. She's a lot of talk, but she's got a big heart. And me? I got some big muscles. Oh, glad to see you're... I don't know if I want to say a pacifist, considering that we have fought before in the past, but you're a lot like Charlie. Aubrey, why won't you tell me what's wrong? Ah! Ah, it's just you two. What makes you think you can barge into people's room like this? You must have made friends with my mom, huh? She lets in anyone who listens to her talk. Well, yeah. And also, by the way, it's not the it's not the two of us. It's actually the three of us, baby. Let's go. We got the squad rolling up in here. Uh, hello, everyone. <laughs> oh damn it! I didn't I didn't actually record this, but so apparently the big tall guy who who was with Angel is actually a tall gal. It's not Charlie, it's Charlene! And well, just like Kel mentioned before, she doesn't really seem that much of a... that much of a hater. <laughs> she actually... <laughs> she actually enjoyed our company over here. Let's go! I made a new friend! Well, well, well! Would you look at here, Angel? Ah! Intruders! Oh, it's just you guys. Hey, wait a sec! F -f 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 now this is the perfect time to challenge you two to a rematch! Ready or not, here I come! Wow, Buddy wasn't actually joking. This is his time for a rematch! <laughs> uh, fuck. Kel's probably gonna die right away, isn't he? Yep, no. Can't do anything about that! Uh, this is probably gonna be the worst rematch on a man. Whoops. Oh, you made Sunny sad, bro. Ha! But jokes on you. Sunny can calm down. Yes, sir. Jokes on you. Oh wait, no jokes on me. I can still focus. This is just gonna take. This is, this is just gonna take me a lot more longer than I like it to. And on the bright side, I'm not losing as much heart because I'm losing juice instead. And it's not like I really need that juice for anything else. Ouch. Ha! You win, loser. Eat this. Oh! <laughs> That just took a lot more time than I would like like it to admit. Huh. Little did you know, I was using this fight to study your strengths and weaknesses. The next time you will fight, victory won't come so easy. Yeah, 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 that's what they all say. But you know what? I'll give it to you. I'll give you this. You managed to knock me down all the way to one juice. And you actually managed to knock out Kel. But joke's on you. You still lost in the end. So who's the real loser here? Loser. Aw, who do you have over here? Never mind, I'm just hallucinating again. I kind of look like a, a young Aubrey and a young Sunny. Uh, what are you doing in the, 
What are you doing in the tree? Are you joking me? I need more fish? Bro. Anyways, apparently somebody is here and you fix it. It's taking forever. I don't know if it's you or if it's the other guy. Oh, it is you. Eh? Who are you? What do you want? Oh, is my mom asking for me? Tell her to wait! I'm the one going out all the way to pick this floor lamp that I don't even care about. Besides, she's so picky. I don't know why she just doesn't do it herself. <laughs> what a trashy situation. These floor lamps are trash! You're trash! Jesus Christ, brother. It all makes sense to me now. This world, this world is nothing but trash! Do you have a recycultist? If my mom wants her lamp so bad, why don't you get it for her? I've got better things to do. Alright then. Uh, do I buy it up front? Yes sir, I want to buy a floor lamp. $50 indeed it is. Thank you very much, I appreciate your business. I would also like your finest fish over here, my good madam. Thank you very much. I don't think I'm gonna need... I don't think I'm gonna be needing more bandages to fight, right? Kill wouldn't die right away. Alright, orange cat. Here is some more fish. Just need you to come down here. And he's gone. <laughs> it's more trash. Cool. Thanks, I guess. Sure, let's play some Captain Space Boy. Yo, I see you have your eyes set on that video game. It's called Captain Space Boy Space Adventure. It was more popular a few years ago, but it still retains some competitive players today. People from all over town have tried it. We'll have you know that I still hold a high score. <laughs> If you can beat it, I'll give you something cool. Uh, fine by me then. Is this just Space Invaders? Oh yeah, it is. It's just Space Invaders. Fuck. Was that the high score? Was that the high score? Well, tickle me impressed! You actually beat my score! Guess I should make room for the new generation. <laughs> Here's your prizes, I promise! I only give this out to people I think are really cool. Cool glasses! Thanks! What do they do? Just out of curiosity. Are they just cool? Even cooler when worn indoors. Alright, you know who I have to give it to that. I have it, I have to give it to my man, the man, the, the man, the myth, the legend, hero. Alright, madam, I got you your floor lamp. Here you go. Oh my! What a nice floor lamp! Thank you! You have impeccable taste! Hmm... But where's my son Billy? Did he go on one of his tantrums and run off again? Uh, He's so temperamental. I wish he wouldn't make such a big deal out of everything all the time. Anyway, you're very thoughtful for getting me this lamp. Please come over any time! I make a mean cup of coffee. I will take you up on that offer, madam. Alright. My coffee machine is right in the kitchen. Careful, it's pretty strong. I'll be the judge of that. Alrighty then, what do we got here over here? Bitter bean juice. The coffee was hot and bitter as expected. You don't know why people drink this. Oh, but you know what? Oh, never mind. I was gonna say, let me get another one, but apparently I can't. Fuck. Wait a minute. Can I reset it? No, I cannot. I'm sensing an evil presence coming from inside my house. Maybe I'm overthinking it, but I can never be too careful. Can I not go inside your house? Oh, would you look at that? Oh my god. I completely forgot that your that your family, Maverick, your family is a uh, uh, how do I put this? Uh, they're people of God. Is the best way I could put it. Uh, hello. <laughs> There's cardboard cutouts of a pair of twins. 
There's something stuck on the back. We find a note. It seems we have gone missing. We couldn't have gotten too far. Find this dear little brother. Signed, Daphne and Bowen, your love link older siblings. Hmm. Are you in here? Are you in here? Are you under here? Are you under here? Are you, uh, in the plants? What about this plant? Wow, you guys. I don't know how you managed to do it. National Banking Championship, first place. This trophy is a replica made to be perfectly symmetrical to the one on the other side. Where could he have gone? <laughs> what the hell? Okay, okay, okay. So there's still somewhere within the house. I'm gonna assume it's those two little bumps over there. Never mind, they're two fluffy pillows. This is the oldest trick in the book. I can't believe you would actually fall for this. Oh my god. Fuck off. Uh, are you sure about that? There's just a cat that just went flying out of there. You found a hidden safe. Probably better to pretend that you didn't see anything. Good idea, good idea. God, I have to check behind everything. Oh my lord. Uh, what are those? That looks like two pairs of eyes down there. On that bed. Are you under, are you under the bed? Haha! <laughs> we got you good, didn't we? Hey, wait a second! You're not our darling little brother! Mmm, our little brother is too cool for us now, isn't he, Bowen? He doesn't even have time to play games with his loving older siblings anymore! Yeah, Daphne. It is very regrettable. Uh, we barely get any time off work. And when we do, little Michael is never around to play with us anymore. It's unfair, isn't it, Bowen? Life is so cruel. Well, that's fine. Now we have some new friends, though. I'm not exactly sure what they do. Entertain us, dear friends. Yes, entertain us. Uh, hmm, you got nothing? That's too bad. Well, this was all very fun, but we get bored quite easily. Come, brother. Let us think of more fun games to play. Goodbye, new friends. This has been... Pleasant. Uh, I don't know if I would call it pleasant. Also, also, I just realized, is that a Super Nintendo that he has? Nice. That's pretty dope. Alright, cleared out the evil. Ah, so you have conquered the great evil. What did it cost you? I can still see the pain in your eyes. Ugh, my brother and sister are a real drag, aren't they? Everyone here is the same. Eh, don't worry about it. At, at least they're not the dragon which you believe that to be. Like, they're not fucking hostile or painful or anything like that. No, they're, they just want to, you know, have fun with their little brother. All right, Chris, I have another seashell for you. There you go. Such a cute one. Thank you. Now, what are you going to be doing? You're going to show it to me? No, peeking? Come on now. I already gave you two seashells. How many more do you want? All right. After looking around through the entirety of town, I'm finally back home. Here at last, or at least in Kel's, or at least in Kel, Kel's and Hero's place, finally. Do you want to play with Hector? Sure, why not? I don't know if this is really much playing as it is standing, but you know what? I'll take it. Good boy. Alright now. Let's see what y'all got cooking in store. 
We're home! Kel! Hero! Where have you two been? It's so late, I've been worried sick! Sorry, Mom. We got held up. But the good news is we found Basil and he's safe. Huh. I'll have you know, I spent all week preparing the chicken roast for tonight's dinner. And... <laughs> it's gotten cold! That's tough, bro. Oh, Mom, please don't cry. Uh, don't worry, Mom. Uh, that's what microwaves are for. Oh, my poor dinner! <laughs> there, there, honey. Uh, cheer up. Uh, today's a special day. There's no need to be sad. Look, Hero's back from college. It's good to see you back, champ. Thanks, Dad. Oh, your dad is right. This is no time for sniffles. It's good to see you're back, Hero. We all missed you so much. <laughs> oh boy, that's... That's Sally. Ah! It sounds like Sally's awake! I'll go get her. Yeah, it's like almost one, so I'm not even gonna bother trying with the baby noises. Even then, I d Even then, I still wouldn't do it. Anyways. Come on, boys. You must be hungry. Go on and help yourselves to dinner. What? No high for no high for Sunny, Dad? Come on now. Cool. Let's go grab some food and heat it up. You know it. <laughs> we just took the whole ass chicken. We got a home cooked meal, but it's cold. Wait a minute. Is that where I think it is? It is. <laughs> I've always wanted to have one of those fishes. Fish. Yeah, fish. I forgot exactly what they were called, but I do know that they just flop their head, look towards you, and start playing music. Anyways, microwave time! Oof! Now that everything's calmed down, we can finally relax a bit. It's so good to see you again, Sonny. It really has been way too long. Oh, and it's good to see you again too, Cal. So, Sunny, I hear from Mom that you're moving away soon. That sounds so exciting. Yeah, he is. Tomorrow's gonna be his last day with us. Moving might seem kind of nerve-wracking now, but it really isn't so bad once you get used to it. I think it would be good for you, Sunny. You learn a lot moving to a new place, and it's nice to have a fresh start. I'm a little sad to see you go, but it'll be okay as long as we keep in touch. Ah, uh, we sure did have a lot of memories together. Sometimes I miss those days. Lazing around, eating food, drinking juice. Yeah, we did everything together. We went to the park, the lake, the beach. But honestly, what I miss the most is hanging out at your place, Sonny. You guys had everything. A big TV, all the newest toys, a grand piano, and of course, our very own treehouse. Oh yeah! The treehouse was awesome! I wonder if it's still there. Is it, Sunny? Uh, looks like the food's done. Let's eat in the living room. We can continue chatting there. Something just came to my mind. The stump where... where, uh... Hero, Kel, and Aubrey, Aubrey are, or typically hang out in, including where technically I'm in, white space. Is that just a treehouse? Or regardless, dinner's ready. I'm pressing all the wrong buttons. Look, Hero, we got your favorites. Some chocolate chip cookies and a big ol' Hero sandwich. Oh, how sweet. It's exactly the same as last year. Awkward. Alright, couch time. By the way, Hero, Basil gave Sunny his photo album yesterday. Did you want to see it? You have Basil's photo album on you? Sure! Let's go through the album while we eat dinner. Alright, time to whip out the photo album. 
And it's just the exact same things as before. No surprise there. I am indeed done looking at the photo album. It's too bad that some photos are missing. Aubrey stole the album from Basil, but we got it back. Maybe she has the rest of the photos. Uh, hey, Hero, what's up? Are you okay? Yeah. It's just that... Well... Mari isn't in any of these photos. Oh, you're right. She isn't. Uh, still, this album really brings back some good memories. Things were a lot simpler when we were all kids. <laughs> Sunny, I have a favor to ask. Do you think you could let us see your house one more time before you leave? Oh, that's a good idea! But you gotta convince Mom first. She's probably gonna be kinda mad about you not spending enough time with her and stuff. You know how she is. <laughs> and there goes Sally. Phew, what a mess that was. Sally made a little doo-doo, but she's all clean now. Uh... Cool? Hey there, Sally! Peekaboo! <laughs> <laughs> she's crying. Oh, no. Stop it, Kel! You're scaring her! Ahem. So, uh... Hey, Mom. We were wondering if we could go hang out at Sunny's house today since he's moving away soon. Oh? But you just came back! And it's already so late! What about spending time with your mom? I'm going to be here for the rest of summer and Sunny's leaving the day after tomorrow. We have plenty of time to catch up. I think it's okay for here to spend some time with Kel and Sunny. I haven't seen Sunny around for a long time. It's been a while since the boys have had the chance to hang out. I say we should let them. Ah, uh, fine then. You boys can have your fun. But Hero has to wash the dishes with me for the next week! Sh sure I guess I can do that. Hmm! Alright, you're free to go. Come on, Sally. Let's leave your mean old brothers alone. They don't want anything to do with us, do they, Sally? My lord, pettiness. Come on now. Oh, Mom. Alright, to Sunny's house we go. But first, Hero, is there anything you want to tell us about your room? How your Mr. Sir wins a lot? It's time to prove who's the taller brother once and for all. <laughs> this again, Kel? I thought we were over this. Come on, Hero! Let's stand back to back like always! So, Sunny, which one of us is taller? Uh, I appreciate you, Hero, but I gotta go with my man Kel here! <laughs> Looks like I'm finally the taller brother! Wow! My life feels so complete, yet so empty! I guess you've really grown up while I was gone. It's too bad your grades are still coming up short, though. That's uncalled for, hero! Smarts aren't everything! <laughs> I'm just teasing you. I think you're smart too, Kel. Smart in your own way. Haha! <laughs> yeah, that's what I thought. State Mathematical Olympia at first place. State Spelling Bee first place. State Junior Cooking Competition first place. Annual Hot Dog Eating Contest. Hero. How? Annual Hot Dog Eating Contest? How? State the bait competition most improved. Well, it's not first place, but it's most improved. <laughs> An alarm clock for responsible people. It's set to be five minutes early. Naturally, naturally. I feel like I feel like my family is like the only kind of people who, that actually like have our clocks like a few minutes early. Anyways, come on to my house we go. Hey. So, I'm really glad that we get to hang out and everything, but I also feel pretty bad for leaving mom all alone. 
before we head to your house, let's go to fix it and get some flowers for her. I know she'd really appreciate that. Oh, I see you have flowers already. I think we should get my mom some fresh ones though. Fix it isn't that far off anyways. Oh, hero. Always a mama's boy. Yeah, no kidding. What the fuck, hero? Man really wanted me to go all the way to fix it just to fucking get some fresh flowers. Come on now. That's like saying you wanted some fresh ice cubes. Oops, before I forget, Sunny, here's some money for my mom's flowers. You didn't think I would let you pay for it, did you? Ten dollars? Wow! Uh, alright. Mom's gonna love these flowers! Let's drop them off at my place, Sunny! Ten dollars for flowers? Seems a little excessive, don't you think, Hero? Alright, we are back here. Hmm... It looks like it's getting pretty late. We should probably head to your house after this. That sound good to you? Of course, naturally, naturally. Alright, Hero's mother. Where are you at the moment? There you are. Oh, God damn it, Hero. Hey, Mom! I got you some flowers! Uh, oh? Are these for me? They're beautiful. Thank you. Ha! <laughs> Hero, you're such a charmer. Just like your old man. I'm sorry for overreacting earlier. I know Sunny is moving away soon. Try your best to keep in touch. Friends are harder to make the older you get. Mom, that's so depressing. We'll be fine. Yes, I'm sure you will be. Take care, Sunny. Know that you'll always have a home here. Aw, thank you very much. I feel I feel welcome already. I appreciate it. Oh my lord, it got late super quickly. Wow, it just hit me. It's been so long since we've been inside your house, even though we live right next door. Time really flies, huh? Yeah, it sure does. Let's go inside. After you, Sonny. Well, don't mind if I do.